Okay, well, it's, let me see, it's 3am in the morning and I'm walking up Burger Street, Manila, yes, I've had a few beers, and basically, I'm just having a walk, minding my own business, you know what I mean, okay. Hi guys, Steady Eddie here, this time having a mooch around Baker Street, McCarty, Manila. Now this is one of the places I've looked forward to visiting since I arrived in the Philippines and I've left it to the end of my journey. So is it as good as I expected? Well Baker Street is the most well known red light area in Manila and compared to some other nightlife areas I've visited, this one seems far more developed, far cleaner and more instantly likeable. It's brightly lit, with some of the others are not. It seems safe enough with plenty of police and security around. It's got some lively bars, music, go-go bars. The kind of place you arrive in and think, I like this place. I'm glad I came here. As for the local ladies here, well, it isn't long in Burger Street before you realise the actual ladies are outnumbered by the ladyboys. I mean, I don't know the exact figures, but from where I'm looking, this place seems to have a higher ratio of ladyboys than Bangkok or Pattaya. If you come to Burger Street looking for girls, well you will find them in the go-go bars at a high price which I've mentioned in another video. You will also find freelance girls around, although I've got to say some of those girls do look a bit young, so I wouldn't entertain any of those personally, and I wouldn't put them on camera either. But I must say, after visiting Burger Street for a few nights, you can easily get the impression that that place is almost exclusively set up for those who like ladyboys. I mean, ladyboys are everywhere, on the streets, in the bars, I even saw one in the toilets. No, don't ask. Now, don't get me wrong, I've nothing against ladyboys. I mean, it's easy to get alarmed by them when you first come to this part of the world, but after many years, you kind of get used to them. You accept, after you've been to these places a while, that ladyboys are very much a part of the red light scene, and there must be plenty of customers for them, otherwise they wouldn't be here. But personally, I like girls. Girls over the age of 25. So, how is Burger Street for meeting girls? 
Well, I've only spent three nights in this McCarty area, but having visited the bars and enjoyed some of the live bands this place has to offer, I decided I like this place. And there are some nice ladies, real ladies, floating around these bars. Burger Street does seem to have a very, very friendly nightlife area. I wouldn't, however, bother with the go-go bars too much. I went in a few and there weren't too many customers in there, just dancers asking high prices for drinks and just about everything else. Like I said earlier, Baker Street seems to be a safe enough place, but I will draw your attention to that sign you see in the toilets of so many of the bars around here. The sign isn't exclusively about ladyboys, but if any of you are planning to use their services, then that sign is there for a reason. Be safe, don't trust anyone, and you'll have a good time visiting Baker Street. something i'm just giving you the tip okay you have a nice day okay you have a nice day thank you see i give her a tip i'm a nice man i give her a nice tip you have a nice evening ladies okay la, 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 la. okay la, 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 la. okay well it's let me see it's 3 a.m. in the morning and I'm walking up Burger Street, Manila. Yes, I've had a few beers and basically I'm just having a walk, minding my own business, you know what I mean? Okay. I'm going to get a taxi home because I've had a few beers. Well, it's a lively old place, it certainly is a lively old place. There seems to be a lot more ladyboys than there are ladies. Tons of ladyboys around if you like that sort of thing. I'm against them. Each to their own, I suppose. But I've got as much right to talk to myself in Burger Street at 3 a.m. in the morning. Hello, hello. I've as much right to talk to myself at 3 a.m. in the morning. Has anyone else got to do anything? Yeah, I've had a few beers. Hello, my dear, how are you? Okay. <clears throat> Better watch that I don't get run over. Bit of a crazy environment. Okay, it's time to get a taxi. There's probably one right up behind me, as a matter of fact, yes. Okay, and I'm sure there's a better way of doing this, but I just sneaked out late at night 
had a nice meal, had a few beers. Not really offensive, all totally innocuous. Is, is this a taxi or is this somebody who's fucking, somebody who's cab crawling? I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Last little look around Burger Street before I head back to my hotel. Only been out for a few hours. I did quite a lot this afternoon. So I've had quite a full day. Time to get a taxi on. And the problem with getting a taxi back to the hotel where I'm staying is that a lot of the drivers don't know where it is. They can't find it. So I've got to find a taxi that's actually got one of those sat nav, sat nav things. Anyway, here we go. Jesus, if I was 10 years younger, and of course a bit stranger. Yeah. Hello? I just talking to myself. What's your name? What's that? <laughs> it's okay. Well, I've, got, I've got a friend back in England who's gay. And he, 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 he like lady boys. Okay. You're very, very nice anyway. Well, have a nice evening anyway. Have a nice evening. I haven't really got a gay friend. I just talk rubbish at three o'clock in the morning.